I was just cutting up some stuff for a cake topper so i have all of this stuff here to make the cake topper but i have to put it together i'm gonna do that in a little bit but first i want to share with you some stuff that i got at walmart so i made a uh purchase on amazon just getting some things to freshen up my office space here i also needed a laptop case so um i was inspired by this hold on let me see if i could pull it out without moving everything all over the place so this is the laptop case that i got for my uh, macbook pro of the color it's called camel i'm gonna leave it linked below it comes with a screen protector i hope it doesn't turn oh, turned on and it also comes with the keyboard cover that matches i was inspired by this <laughs> laptop cover to just freshen up my office space get some things that i needed i was redoing my pricing the other day and i was using my computer and i was also watching a youtube video in the background so it was hard for me to go back and forth on my calculator on the computer because i was you know obviously using it so i'm like you know what let me just get a calculator make things easy i got this one off of amazon I wanted to get like um like another color but this one was $9.99. The other ones were like $12.99, $13.99, $16. And I'm like, all right, let me go with the cheaper one. There were also a couple of cheaper options, but they were battery operated. And I didn't want batteries. I wanted the little solar operated one. I also got a tool that cleans my AirPods. My daughter told me the other day, she was like, ew, they're nasty. Because she loves to take them and use them. And I'm like, all right, maybe I should clean them. I know it's TMI, pretty disgusting, but... I didn't have anything to clean them with. I had this thing that I found at Walmart a couple months ago. And I've been using this. These are just like, I don't know. It's like a gum texture. I don't think it worked that well. I mean, it worked okay. It just didn't deep clean. This one has a whole bunch of things that deep clean. Like, I finally cleaned everything and it looks so good it has like the pointy edge where you can you know like really get in there it has a little brush on the side and the other side has this little like sponge thing i think it's microfiber i don't know but it gets inside the case and like on the side and everything so this was a good buy and i chose this one over everything else because everything comes all compact the other ones it was like bigger and bulkier and I didn't want that. I, you know, I wanted something nice and sleek and minimal. I got um, a planner. It's a nice blush color and it has, um, it's an outdated, not outdated, undated planner. Let me go on my Amazon real quick to see what else I ordered. Oh, I also got some under the desk drawers. I don't really have drawers here. So I got those to give me more storage. I really wanted to share with you what i just picked up at walmart at walmart i found some things that i also wanted from amazon but in my opinion they were just too much money so i'll show you an example i wanted a phone stand i found like these really nice ones on amazon i didn't want to pay 15 dollars for a phone stand so today when we were at walmart i saw this it's called the ijoy phone stand in sparkle it literally is just a phone stand this was on clearance for five bucks but when my daughter went to go scan it, it rang up as three. So I was like, heck yes, I'm going to take this. And it does what it's supposed to. It's a stand that holds your phone. I also wanted... Oh my gosh, I hope this fits. This looks too big. It says for AirPods first and second generation. What AirPods do you have? I think second. I've been wanting um, a case for my AirPods because it is... <laughs> this is beat up. Like, really, really bad. But anyway, I found... This really pretty muted, I want to say mint color. I don't know. It's like a muted green. And it was only $4.88. So now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if it fits. Oh, it fits. This really pretty color 
$4.88. Also got some pens. These were also $4.88. I thought these colors were really pretty. And they actually match the whiteout that I bought from Amazon. And now lastly, I got journals. Oh my goodness, the snow messed up the... <gasps> no, it's not the snow. It got dirty. I needed two different notebooks. One to just write things down like whenever i'm here whether it be to-do lists or if i'm like writing down ideas or prices things like that everything on amazon was just too much money for a notebook like it's, it's just a notebook this one was 222 not too bad i am gonna take out this little pocket though just because i don't like the color so um i'll take this out but i think the green looks really nice and then i saw this journal so this journal is actually an undated planner I love the color. It's a beautiful stone color. And the inside, it has the months up here and then all the days. This one was $7.97, I think. It was seven and change. I know that. And the one I purchased on Amazon was double the price. So I don't know. We'll see when it gets here. It, the one that I got on Amazon is a little bit bigger. Actually, yeah, it is bigger. It's eight and a half by 11. This one's seven and a half by 10 and a quarter. Um, and I do like this color better. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see which one I like more. I'm going to use that, I think, for my receipts. Not for my receipts. I'm going to use it for my expenses. There we go. I like to write everything down. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my haul of things. Hey, so it's a couple days later. I received the rest of the stuff that I bought on Amazon. And I also got a couple other things that I don't think I mentioned. So I'm going to share that with you now. I have already opened everything. So I'm going to share it with you outside of the box. I think the only thing I didn't open was a stapler. Remember I mentioned that I got white out that matched the pens that I got from Walmart. So these are the pens. I hate how these write, by the way. But whatever. I'll... I, I will obviously still use them because I already opened them. These are the whiteouts. It also came with a baby blue one, but I gave that one to my daughter. And it's just regular tape whiteout. But I really like the colors. And they fit perfectly inside my drawers. I also purchased some highlighters. And the highlighters match everything else pretty much. These are all muted colors. On paper, this is what most of them look like. I only swatched four of them and there's six of them. So that's the highlighters and then i did get a stapler because that i did not have i like this one it's small and you can store the staples inside on the bottom it came with i don't know if it was 20 i don't remember how much how many it came with but it did come with a couple free staples i have a whole bunch of staples so that's not a big deal i also got a new laptop holder cover because the case is the one i showed you before but this is a sleeve laptop sleeve and i like this one it's um it keeps my laptop in here i can also put my a notebook in there on the other side i have space for pens uh white out accessories my charger all of that stuff and i like the color it matches with the, the case for the laptop really well um i ended up keeping the pink notebook that i purchased i mentioned that i didn't know if i was gonna keep the one that i got from walmart or this one i ended up keeping both because this is the perfect size for all of my expenses and then also my receipts because i purchase a lot on amazon most of my business receipts are amazon receipts and when i print them out they're in eight and a half by 11 sheets so this is the perfect size to keep all of my receipts the other one i can use as my like daily planner here and since it's not dated it's perfect for me the last Thing that i purchased were the drawers that i think i mentioned when i first started the haul so this desk doesn't have any pull out drawers and i wanted something for my pens pencils things like that things to write with as well as my scissors and just the smaller items that got lost in here because i have this little caddy here but all of the smaller items just kept getting lost in here and it was just a complete mess so i got these off of amazon they go underneath your desk and uh, they come with adhesive it's not screwed in or anything like that i only have two of them so far but i did purchase more i can fit three more exactly on here so that'll be for things for my silhouette scissors all of the smaller items that i can fit in there even my calculator fits they come with these knobs that you can put on here oh shoot that's the double-sided tape it comes with put the knobs here and then it's easier to 
you know, open and close. But I find it fine to just do this. I have a tie-dye cake topper to do. So I already have a whole bunch of the numbers cut out. I don't remember if it was my son or my daughter or both of them, but they made a whole bunch for me. Now when I get orders, I usually have... The, the number done and all I have to do is cut out the name because that's personalized so every order is different but this order is a number 12 and of course that's the one I don't have I have to do print and cut but I ran out of cardstock I use regular white cardstock you know the 65 pound but I ran out of it didn't want to use my 110 pound the thicker one because I haven't used it on my I haven't used it on my silhouette portrait yet so I don't know how it's going to cut, but whatever. I'm just going to do it because I already have the stuff, you know. And then I'll just pick up the 65 pound whenever I'm at Michael's again. So I guess we'll find out together because I'm about to print it now. And I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned in this video or in the last video, but me and print and cut don't do well. But now that I'm inside and I'm, you know, like the Wi-Fi is better, I'm thinking it's going to be better. And also my printer is plugged in, so... Those two things should help. It, with the sticker paper, it's still a pain. But with cardstock, it's so much better. I do think I have to get a new wire for my printer though. Or not buy a new one, but just grab one from outside. Because I, I have a whole bunch of extras. Oh. That sounded bad. No, it messed up the paper though. Try it again, put it from the other side. Alright, let's try that again. Is it raining right now? Is that thunder? No, that's a garbage can. I don't think it's raining. No, it's not raining. I think it's printing. Yay, it's printing. See, me and print and cut, man. We don't get along sometimes. Okay. Um, as far as showing you like me working or the silhouette cutting, it's the same thing that I showed you earlier this video because it's the same cake topper. Not the same, but not for the same person, but it's the same cake topper. This is a friendly reminder that if your material doesn't cut through, do not remove it. From your machine keep it there and recut i don't know what i was thinking as i took it out of the silhouette and now i'm stuck with this because it will never align perfectly again me being the person that i am the crafter that i am i do not want to waste that gold paper i don't want to cut it again i don't want to waste another sheet this gold paper is not cheap let me tell you i am actually cutting the pieces that i can save with my scissors shoot hold on let me just see if this cut through this cut through okay perfect the only part i couldn't save was the name because it's just too intricate so i wasn't going to be able to cut the whole name so i just cut that name all over again but anyway i am going in and cutting what didn't cut by hand obviously it has the outline it just it needed like a little extra push to cut through it needed a little bit more force i was gonna fix that by going in and doing another cut and instead of keeping it on the mat i turned it off and i took it out so you know yay me the trick to this is using a small pair of scissors for the most part it's easy to cut the cold <laughs> is blinding my eyes Fun fact about me, I got my eyes checked last week and um, my whole life I've always had 20-20 vision. I've never needed glasses, I've just always had good vision and obviously as you get older everything changes. Lately I've been having issues with my eyes, like whenever we go to the movies my eyes bother me, the screen is just like OD in my face, I don't know, It's just it was too much for me, I started getting headaches. Even like when I'm watching TV at nighttime, I have it on the lowest setting, night setting, all of that. I would find myself squinting like this and it would just give me headaches. Anytime that I drive at night, lights of the other cars was bothering my eyes. I have a small prescription. I got my glasses yesterday, but I don't think 
they got my prescription right i don't know they were making my vision a little bit more blurry so i'm just testing it out but yeah i'm just gonna see all right so i got them cut and this piece here guys i am finished with the cake topper your hair what your hair. oh yeah my hair what about my hair yeah why not oh, okay. it's not beautiful <laughs> my hair's not beautiful i was just looking for <laughs> yeah but it's beautiful it's, it's a no style i was looking for this nail polish in my daughter's uh, stash and i found her hair extensions so i put them on we're gonna go see ant-man and we actually should be going now because it starts in 13 minutes. It has like 25 minutes of previews. I'm gonna end the video now. My husband is about to come in and he's about to say we gotta go. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for your support and I'll talk to you guys in next week's video. Mm -hmm.